Is it normal, like this size, he's taking the whole table to prepare it? Yeah, he's taking the whole table and I think that he, what he's going to do is a, is, a, is a kind of a new way to make the, the sponge cake. Because everybody is using a mold and they, if, uh, as you can see in the different tables, you, you, we, they use molds, 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 molds. And this is another way to, to assemble your, your sponge cake. I suppose that this will be for this, but let's see in the next coming minutes. So basically we have no idea uh, how is it going to look like, right? Because there's no mode whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. And this is what we're asking in the, in the contest like this. Uh, we're asking for something new, something different. You already see some, uh, some new techniques or some yeah. new things on during the, this short yeah. morning? Yeah, I mean obviously it's, it's the usual countries. Uh, Japan looks good, uh, France looks good. There's some really new techniques with lots of screws and chambers to make some cakes. It's, it, there's some uh, amazing things going on. The cakes are really interesting for me. I loved, I, I love got the voyage tea cakes, uh, travel cakes. I love them and I think what, what some of the countries are doing are amazing. And, and what do you think about the base? Because uh, this year the base is uh, rectangular yeah. and is something different than the past editions and, and, uh, and different from the other contestants. So what do you think? That's true. Um, it pushes you into going in a different direction, which is a really smart idea. And, and there's a rule in there that you have to be, no piece can be filled more than 50 centimeters long. So you've got lots of, uh, you've got lots of countries that are doing things with, you know, tiny little pegs and they're pushing people into different directions uh, rather than using chocolate as the connection they're using chocolate pegs it's really smart it's really smart we have been in front with the contestants and now we're in the backstage and we have some interesting things to show you right Amon yeah let's see what's happening behind the scenes uh, let's see the reality yeah and something really really interesting happened yesterday at uh, Stor Tortube uh, storage space from Denmark Look at the situation here. He had so many things to put in the storage that he needed to take out the door. Yes, because the World Chocolat Masters is all about the logistics. And this is a very nice example. What's happening is this guy, this is a crazy guy. We know, we know really well because it's the second time that, that uh, he's, he's doing the competition. He's a really well experienced. And uh, this is why uh, he's coming with a lot, a lot, but a lot of stuff.